There we go, mate. Pop that one on for me. Okay, welcome to Apostles Helicopters, guys. My name is Lisa. I'm going to be your pilot today. Just a quick reminder, we do ask you not to touch the doors during flight. However, they are your emergency exits. Hey, you can hear me when I speak? Yeah, you can video it, that's fun. You've got an awesome job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Here we go guys, so straight out ahead, these are the apostles in front of us, so it will smoothen out when we get over the water, it's just uh, with the wind direction today, it's bouncing off the cliffs a little bit. There we go, so out over the apostles guys, five formations on our left and the remaining two on our right hand side. So these formations are given the name the Apostles, guys, this is back in the mid-1950s. And there were only, in fact, nine formations to begin with. So despite common belief, there were never 12. Now, from the nine, we had one collapse in 2005. That left us with eight. And since then, we've also had one that's been demoted because he was considered too small to be counted as an Apostle anymore. So after the final Apostle here on the right with the flat green top, all the formations through to London Bridge will have their own individual names. So the next two with the square bases are called the Twin Sisters. Then to the left you have the Salt and Pepper Shaker, followed by the Razorback, that's the long skinny one, with the jagged top. Now as we come around the next point, which is known as Broken Head, you'll see the Sherbrooke River in the corner. And then the next feature along with the hole through the centre is called the Baker's Oven. Now you've got the Sentinel Rock coming up on the right, that's the feature uh, that is the largest in the National Park actually. It's uh, quite tall, equivalent to a 20 storey building in height, so just under 75 metres. It's known as the Sentinel Rock. Now coming up, you've got Port Campbell Township ahead on the right hand side, home to just over 600 permanent residents. We also have five commercial cray fishermen that operate out of Port Campbell during the summer period. So from about mid-November. So if you see any floats out on the water, little coloured balls, that's uh, just the markers for the cray pots. The Port Campbell itself does become pretty busy during Christmas and New Year. You may have known that already. I don't know if anyone's staying there at the moment. But uh, we can get up around four or 5,000 uh, people stay there for Christmas and New Year. So from 600, that's, uh, that's quite an increase. So town becomes pretty busy. And Port Campbell Bay are uh, quite a lovely spot to sit during summer. You've got Two Mile Bay just here on the right hand side. It's quite a popular little surfing location for the locals. Then 
then you've got the arch coming up at the tip of the next point. The name for this one's pretty self-explanatory. But to give you an idea of the size, there's a couple of boulders sitting at the base of the archway. They're roughly the same size as uh, maybe slightly a bit smaller than the cabin of our helicopter. So uh, it's a bit deceiving uh, the size of some of these features. We could actually fly through that archway. That's how big it is. As we come around this next point, guys, this is where you'll see the London Bridge formation. It doesn't quite look as much like London Bridge as it used to. Its second archway that used to connect it to the mainland collapsed back in 1990, leaving two people stranded out on the rock formation. So since that collapse, it's more commonly referred to by various sources as the London Arch rather than London Bridge. So that big gap down the right-hand side is where the second bridge used to stand before it collapsed into the ocean. Okay guys, we're going to turn around to the left here, we'll climb up a little bit higher, track back towards the Apostles for another look. I'll put it on the internal camera, so guys in the front row, you can see yourselves on the screen if you'd like to give us a wave, the camera's just in front of you. There we go. And guys in the back row, the camera's now on you, it's just above the left hand door if you'd like to give us a wave as well. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, guys. All right, so London Bridge is coming into view out the left-hand window once again, so you can see the arch running through the centre. Once again, this is Two Mile Bay, just on our left-hand side. And coming up once again, the Sentinel, followed by Horseshoe Cove, also known as Double Bay. You've got Sentinel Rock guys and Horseshoe Cove is that little inlet there. As uh, you can see the shape, it's been scalloped out to look like a horseshoe. It's known as Double Bay sometimes just because of the little inlet that's also on the left hand side. So a separate little uh, beachy section on the left as well. So this location there is actually home to one of three colonies of fairy penguins here in the local area. The other two colonies are up beneath the Apostles and back up beneath the London Bridge. We've got the Baker's Oven just here once again. It's got the hole running through the centre. And then you've got the Sherbrooke River in the corner, just to the right of that. 
As we come around Broken Head once more, you'll see the formation shaped like a seahorse or a question mark. It is known as Mutton Bird Island. Now it's just here where the ship known as the Lockhart ran aground back in 1878. There were only two survivors out of 54 passengers and crew that were on board. So quite a devastating shipwreck. Now the two survivors got washed into the little stretch of beach behind, hence why they named it after the ship. Just to the right of that you can see the long skinny feature, that one once again is the Razorback Ridge. Then to the right, the one that looks like two joined together, it's known as the Salt and Pepper Shaker. And then to the right of that again, the two with the square bases are known as the Twin Sisters. Sorry, mate. And then to our left once again, this starting from the one with the flat green top, that is your first apostle. Number two's got the pointy top. Then number three to six in the middle, they're four grouped together. And then number seven on the left hand side of the lookout wall. The two on the far side of the lookout guys, they are not part of the apostles. They are called Gog and Magog, so separate once again. Those are the only two you can see from the ground. You can just walk down the Gibson steps and see them from the beach just below the car park above. So we'll turn to the left here guys, we'll uh, head to the left and over the coastline here. This is where you'll see all the apostles in line out the left hand window. A good time for a photo. Well thank you for flying with us today guys, I do hope you enjoyed the tour. When we land, uh, just so please allow the ground staff to operate the doors for you. But you can remove your seatbelts just by twisting the buckle on the front of the belt, only once we are on the ground please. So what's your name? My name's Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, I really like your job. Good. Were you ex-military? Oh no, no no, I just learned uh, civilian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well thank you Lisa. You're welcome guys, thank you very much, hope you enjoyed your flight today.